Hey friends, for today's yoga asana breakdown, we are going to go through the foundational requirements for Parsva Bhuja Dandasana, otherwise known as grasshopper pose. So let's get started in a standing position. And first you wanna make sure that your hips are open before doing this practice. It's just one caveat here. And you're gonna take your, we'll start off with our right leg. So take your right foot as high up onto the leg as possible. Now, if this is too much for you, then I suggest working on hip opening stretches and hip, dynamic hip opening stretches at that to make sure that your hips are open enough for this pose. And a lot of the arm balances require shoulder stability, but this one is going to require some level of flexibility to enter it. So if you can easily bring your foot up to your leg like this, do the check. That's no problem to you. Let's get started on the mat. So I'm gonna come up over here on my side and actually we'll do it this side. I'm gonna take my left foot and I'm gonna bring it up my right leg. Then I'm gonna come on and twist. Make sure you can deeply twist. This is a leverage twist, meaning that my tricep and foot is allowing me to twist as well as my upper thoracic spine. So I'm gonna move back a little bit so you can see me. So I'm gonna bring this foot as high up on my tricep as I can. The fingertips are your brakes here. Then as I lean my way forward, I'm gonna bring that back leg heel in towards my butt. Then I'm gonna extend out. Stabilize through the shoulders. And then release. A lot of the arm balances are about shoulder, stability. We want to create this protraction, meaning the separation of the shoulder blades as we enter into the arm balances. The arm balances are about technique. However, grasshopper pose requires a level of flexibility and a level of open hips. So work on opening your hips, work on dynamic hip opening stretches that target the hip flexors and focus on that shoulder stabilization. Shoulder stability is the key to every arm balance technique. I hope this tutorial has helped you. Please don't forget to like and subscribe onto this page. Thank you for practicing with me. Namaste.